underneath there, I have my eggs, my butter, and my, uh, I'm just gonna clean this out with a little bit of schmutz in there. See, I don't want that in my omelet. I don't know what this pan was used for. The pan has quite a bit of heat in there now. So it should be nice and ready. And um, so I'm just going to put butter in there, pour the eggs in, and then I'm going to start doing this. And so chopsticks are the, the great way to do it. Now, one year the TAs, they found out that I like, you know, Star Wars and that kind of stuff. And, you know, I need my son Luke. So it's kind of like, and so they got me, uh, these uh, chopsticks. Shut up, I have those. So they're kind of fun. And uh, so now I'm going to show you how to make a Star Wars omelet. All right, so the butter in. Put in the pan. Butter's melting. Get it all the way around. That's okay, you did good. I was timing with you. All right, so then, turn the heat up a little bit. So you wanna wait till your butter fully froths and almost stops frothing. How hot should the pan be? Uh, medium, medium high. Right, because you're gonna put a lot of cold in there right away, and then you're gonna start moving it around. So you want some, you want some good heat in there. Okay, so now the butter stopped frothing. Pour the egg mixture in, and immediately it's gonna start cooking. And you can see we're forming curds in there. It should be pretty quick. the kind of motion oh we lost our we lost our evil I guess good one okay Maybe we need new batteries and then you want to stop at a certain point so that they can re-knit everything and go back together so right about here's where I'll stop and then we'll bring it back over because we have enough heat in there to finish. We're going to come back over here to the table. And then I'm going to spread everything out a little bit. Okay. Clear the sides off, push everything down. And so this would be an egg set. And we'd have probably 20 of these ready to go. And we can get 20 omelets out in 20 minutes easily, which is pretty fast. Okay. So from here, we're going to add our cheese, a little bit of cheese. You guys like cheese? Mm -hmm. This is pretty salty cheese, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in. And you can put anything you want in here. I like to do a little bit of pain with the cheese, it's good. You can put uh, shaved truffles in here, lobster, whatever you want. And then, lobster omelets are pretty dang good. And then you're pretty much ready to go. These will just sit here for a little bit and on the warming tray, and then you would pick them up, put your stuff in there, and then when you are ready, you just fold. They sh the idea is it should be smooth like a baby's bottom on the on the bottom. Okay. I had my little five-year-old. We were uh, this morning. He was having a hard time getting dressed, so I helped him get dressed and I gave him a little tushy tap. It should be as smooth like a baby's bottom in there. Oh yeah, he had a little tushy tap. But here's what it looks like when it's done properly. See how smooth that is. So that's what an omelet should look like, and then you can. Flip it over. I'm just going to get some water. Let me touch it. And I'm going to give you a little secret too. How to do these in your restaurant to make them really shine. So from here, you just take your plate and you can just flop it over. And then you can reposition it with your hands. So this is a black pepper and pecorino omelet. And then you could put some you know, sausage in there. 
but look how smooth it is. Okay, then from here, you just take a little bit of butter, because you can, and then you just rub it on the top. And it just makes it glisten a little bit more when it goes out to the guest. All right, so there's your butter omelet. And then what I wanted to show you was the whole scrambled eggs in an envelope thing. So if I'm gonna cut this in half so you can look inside and see if it looks like there's scrambled eggs inside of an omelet. Or a... So, and I'll just move that out so you can see. Does it look like there's little scrambled eggs inside of an envelope in there? Mm -hmm. Right, that's what, you, that's what he was describing was that outer shell that's hard 